Good morning. I'm John Letts, and uh, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, a good place to start the morning. Uh, I wanted to come on again this morning and uh, bring you a, uh, a little bit about remembrance. Uh, and uh, I'd like to preface this by saying uh, I'm not a pastor, counselor, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, I'm just me. And so all of this is simply my opinion. But uh, I wanted to come on because recently, uh, as you folks know, uh, I have uh, had lost my wife. And then uh, even more recently, uh, lost what I consider to be or whom I consider to be a, a, a very good friend. And uh, I think it's important to take a second to step back and say, hey, what about remembering? Uh, uh, it's a painful process to go through. Uh, yes, time does heal. Uh, but I know that's a big cliche. Uh, but yeah, it, it helps. And the pain uh, does subside. But what are we, I mean, you're remembering, what are you supposed to do? I mean, uh, you, life is going to go on, and, uh, but uh, what, what do we do, or what do you go from there? And I think, from, from my, for me, uh, for, from my standpoint, is you trust God, and you go on, but you never, 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 ever uh, forget and you always remember, you always honor that uh, that person, that individual, and uh, I mean, you always uh, have not just remember, but like I said, you honor them, and uh, and and you keep their memory alive. You got to keep their memory alive. And some people go, well, they, yeah, well, you know yesterday's gone, let's go on, type of thing. No, I don't care if, you're, if you've are if you been married or whatever and you've lost somebody or whatever, you keep that person's memory alive, period. Uh, I still uh, go uh, uh, to an Italian restaurant, I still take roses, I still take a card, I do it on holidays, I do it on... Uh, anniversaries, I do it on birthdays, I do it on the day of death. I keep that person's memory alive. And they say, well, would you do that if, uh, you, you know, you moved on and had another family and did something else and uh, had another relationship or whatever? Would you continue to do that? Oh, you betcha, baby. You betcha. Uh, it's not a matter of you're not moving forward. It's a matter of, like I said, honoring that individual. And for me, that will continue uh, in uh, in life and until I, you know, leave here. So I just wanted to bring you that note because I, <laughs> so many people, uh, you know, Want to know and or, or, or think well, well, yeah, well, what, what, what do I do from here? What, what, what uh, uh, you know? Uh, so, but uh, again, it was a uh, you can't take away half a person's heart and then just say, oh, well, a few years later, everything's going to be great, you know, grand and. Uh, and uh, you'll forget them, and uh, everything is going to be hunky dory. And uh, no, uh, uh, that isn't how it works. And you need to really, like I said, I can't stress enough. Keep your faith in God, honor that person, and never let that memory die. And then continue on. Uh, with your new life and that you know that'll do it that's that's the way um, I choose anyway to handle that and uh, I sure miss of course my my beloved and I and I oh, I sure miss my friend uh, beyond uh, beyond words and so I just wanted to come on real quick and uh, share that 
And so, uh, in the, in memory of, uh, well, uh, you know, giving thanks to my God in memory of my wife and, uh, in memory of my, uh, departed friend, Walter, uh, I, I just wanted to come on real quick and share that. Okay, uh, thanks for taking a second to listen. Uh, if you want to go ahead and click a like button or subscribe, feel free to do so. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll be back on to give you another video or if, if something I need to share would...